It was the sort of lecture I liked, a topic that I knew enough about to follow easily, but little enough about to feel like I was learning. Although it was a modernist scholar, speaking on what was, technically, a modernist topic, the literature of alienation over the past two and a half centuries, it was closely enough linked to classics via an explicit comparison to writing from the last decades of life on Earth that it had been allocated one of my favorite lecture halls in the classical faculty. The seats were warmed, the glass covers on the gas lamps were an ancient and kindly yellow, and a tea service, authentically brought from Earth generations ago, shone on a sideboard amid chafing dishes and covered trays, promising cheering refreshment. And yet, I was having difficulty maintaining my concentration. My mind drifted like fog, from the delicate wordplay of zint plister, to the system of gas piping keeping the cushions toasty, to the net of rails girdling this permeable planet, to the latest species micromap I had populated for my own research, tiny dots like a cross-stitch, satisfying to complete, yet ultimately useless. Two, with an effort of pouring myself back into the present, the erudite punning of Candela Rune, whose work spanned the transition, to the precise varieties of dainties likely to be lurking in the tiered trays by the teapot, to the words of a dead man who had accused me and mine of excessive comfort. Annoyed, with myself as much as with the dead, I glanced at the wall, where a crafted, cog-bound timepiece detailed the progress of no less than seven classical calendars and mechanically demonstrated the placement of sunlight on a rotating model of Earth. A small dial in the lower corner indicated the local time on Giant. Not much longer now. I dragged my mind back to the lecture, meditated on the anachronisms of the tea service design, then moved on to a leap, but the thought, like the dainties, had been lurking for some time. The probabilities of my seeing Mossa that night, slim, or any night before I chose to betake myself to Sembla on Earth Day Eve, not much broader. I was still meditating on that concern, with a curl of fancy into how that meeting, should it happen, might unfold, when the lecture ended. Still somewhat dazed with my warm imaginings, and more relieved than I would have liked to be that the talk was over, I gathered my largely unused block into my satchel and made for the tea table. There were the tomato chutney tarts I was fond of from previous talks at this hall, and lovely little custard wagons.